We're with Dean Kenemeyer, who is back from Durban for the season, uh, chatting about his card of runners at Hollywood Bets Durbanville on Saturday, the 21st of September. Dean, lovely to have you back. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, you're starting out the day in race one, the 1400 meter open maiden with Golden Destiny. Did have two starts in Feb, been gelded and rested. So um, this will also be his first try at Hollywood Bets Durbanville. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a nice type of horse, you know. Um, I fancy the first time to run because a lovely movement shows quite a lot. Uh, and he ran, ran behind a very good horse, I think, called One Stripe. And his next run where he improved, I think he finished about four lengths off uh, One Stripe again. Probably the best deal in the country that I'd seen last season. Uh, so, unfortunately, he picked up a few issues with him uh, off that last run. And we had to clean out his joints. He had a few little micro chips which we took out. And that all went well. And I decided not to take him to Durban, just leave him here during the winter. We gulled at him and did everything and gave him the break to mature and strengthen up. He's going to a lovely horse. He's a big, big solid fella. Please we gelded him because um, otherwise we would have gelded him in, in the summer season. But all good to them. Obviously, what has happened over the last couple of months has been very difficult for us to prep him for this run. So he hasn't had a grass cut or anything like that, but I've tried to put in as much work as possible on the tracks. Uh, nice type of horse. Probably will need a race under his belt to bring him to where I want him to be, but you can never leave him out to exotics. I think he's, he's got potential, this horse. And then race six, the 1400 meter Cape B stakes in memoriam of David Avery. You're sending out Enchanting Choice. Uh, we were chatting off camera just what a lovely dam lion this is. Um, but has had two starts, one over 18, one over 16, and had a little bit of a break since May. So will this be a comeback run? I would say it will be a comeback run. As I did all my horses, you know, the last it was impossible. And we decided, I spoke to the owner, said, well, don't race until the springtime. Um, because it was stop, go, stop, go, and uh, it was an ideal training and everybody agreed with me. So gave him a nice break, just kept their muscles moving as much as we can. And uh, she's a fairly, she's more comfortable over 16, 1400 meters, or should I say 16, 1800 meters. Um, but she's doing well, she's matured nicely. You know, they could come out fresh over a 1400 meter trip a bit on the sharp side, now, but you know, I wouldn't also leave out the exotics, but a run will do her good. Race seven, the 2000 meter listed Settlers Trophy. You're sending out Pardonom, who's coming off that lovely win um, back at Hollywood Bet's first time back. How's he come on from that? Yeah, I think uh, that was a good win you know, the other day. You know, and, you know, I think he would have won easier. You know, you, you picked them off from behind and 200 out. I mean, he, he just ducked from the right, right across the track. And, you know, but see a jockey and trying to keep him off, you know, he's sticking his left, but somebody must have seen something. And I know there was a jumping cast or something was on the outside. I, I don't know. Um, so uh, that was a good win. You know, I took him up to Durban. He ran second on the poly, then he won over 2000. Last in Scottsville wasn't a great run. But before I brought him back, I got up to him, put him on the float. He arrived, ran 10 days later, he won well. I think this will be his biggest test today. Um, comes in with a galloping weight of 52. Uh, 2000 shouldn't be a, a problem, uh, but he's doing well. Um, you know, he, sometimes he can, he can throw a little bit, run a little bit of being different race, but uh, it, it'll be, I think, a classy little field, a classy, you know, listed race. So it'll be a good test for him, but he's doing well. And he's a lovely looking horse, lovely big strong. Yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's a strong fellow. And he, you know, his mother went up to 2,400 meters. <laughs> Um, he's joined by Ponte Pietra. He was obviously third in the Gold Cup with Sean Veal back in July. And so this is his first run back in Cape Town. Yeah, his first run back. Also a great run in the Gold Cup, great run on July day. Um, look at his form, very solid behind Oriental Charm, behind the, uh, the winner of the Gold Cup. Uh, always there, always there, two lengths off them, two and a half lengths off them. Gold Cup, I think only got beat half a length. Great run. First time we ever tried him over that trip. Loads of stamina on the female line. Uh, that was a good run. Pushed him up to 108 after the uh, Gold Cup. So it comes in the top weight of 60. Some maybe a little under sufferance with him. Um, but you know, it was always tricky when you're carrying 60 over 2,000 meters. Also, come, hasn't run since July. Did have a grass gallop before he came up, uh, before we sent him back to uh, Durban. Uh, he's a racy type of horse, but that's what's in the back of my mind. First run back since end of July, 60 on his back. But he's. Uh, of, of, the, of, of, the, of the runners, I, I think he's also got a touch of class that we could see in that Durban form. Also not an easy horse to ride, which I've mentioned on TV when people ask me during the Durban season, why isn't the stable jockey? Um, 
I'll try to Craig Zaki and the reason for that is that at the beginning of the season he rode him and he just said to me and said to the owners, I can't seem to take, you know, two of us aren't gelling, these two, um, two of us aren't gelling, so I would suggest that you find somebody else who may be able to handle him. Um, because it can be a little bit tricky in the running of the race. So Sean rode him last time and handled him pretty well. And uh, also we could stick with him during the season and unless he's got commitments to, to, to the train that he's riding for during the winter season, uh, during the summer season and the staying races. Anyway, short of that is, Porsche's doing well, don't leave him out.